What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Trot the brother, Dr. Blade, the darkest man. Who around today, guys? I'll be talking about One Piece World Seeker. And should you be excited for this game? So, if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken and get that Kool Aid, now is the perfect time because you're UK. Trot the brother will be going ham on this video. So, without further ado, let me just get on with this. So, first of all, I've got to start off by saying that normally. I do this series closer to the game being announced but I decided to space it out a bit because I want to be calm I want to have virtually no hype and since it's been roughly like two weeks since we had news of this game being called World Seeker and this game having its first announcement trailer I just want to make a video now talking about all the stuff that we got to be wary of when going into this game so the first thing I want to start off with what is One Piece World Seeker? One Piece World Seeker is an offline open world game that is basically centered around Luffy. That's pretty much what we know so far. And I know a lot of people were shocked by this news, including myself. I was shocked to find out that we're getting a One Piece game only centered around Luffy. Because when you think of a One Piece game, you think of more than just Luffy. You think of a big game involving the Straw Hats, involving a vast amount of characters. Because if you ask any One Piece fan who their favorite character is, you are most likely going to get different answers. Because One Piece has a lot of lovable characters and it's a series that is just bigger than just Luffy himself. I can agree with that and I can agree with a lot of people that have the issue of Luffy being the only playable character. But with me, it's slightly different. With me, it's more so what are they trying to do? That's how I look at it. It's more so what are they going for? It's more so can it be done right? That was my standpoint in terms of that. And when I found out that it was offline only, I wasn't shocked because I said in multiple videos with the way they are describing this game, with the way they are formatting this game, I wouldn't be shocked if this was a single player only game. And me, I love single player only games, bro. I love story mode driven games. I love games that have stealth elements. And this is what this game is seeming like it's gonna have. Stealth elements, a story mode driven game. It's only centered around Luffy. I know a lot of people will take that as a downer, but I can take that as a way of them actually going in depth for Luffy himself. Obviously, there's a lot of cons to take into account with the fact that Gumbarium, their games do tend to be repetitive, like the Unlimited World series. Grand Battle, I don't really remember that series, to be honest. I don't really remember. I don't even, I don't even think I even played Grand Battle. I probably did. I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't remember playing Grand Battle. The game looks familiar, but I don't really remember playing the game as a whole but other than that Gambarian are known for making these spacious games where you can move around a bit and roam around to a certain degree I know it's kind of like that in I know it's like that in um, Unlimited World Red but Unlimited World Red the issue with that game is and I was looking at the game again and the game looks really stiff in terms of movement in terms of getting from point A to point B the game does look really stiff obviously you can play it as the straw hats and other characters and all that stuff but the game in terms of movement is stiff the open world aspect is really empty like the areas are empty there's hardly anyone there it just feels like an empty space and I know a lot of people are worried at World Seeker because if you look at Unlimited World Red and look at World Seeker you can see that World Seeker is going to have some Unlimited World Red elements in it obviously it's going to be the superior game but when you look at it going forward you do know that this game is going to have some Unlimited World Red elements in it and in terms of that standpoint is a good thing because Unlimited World Red did do some things right but you gotta look at it this way um, Gumbarium are not necessarily known for making the most um, most respectable games other than Grand Battle and they did make Wii Fit <laughs> if we would have put that out there they did make Wii Fit but um, in terms of people being worried in terms of that aspect I can see the worry that they have me personally, I hope World Seeker actually fills out its area because there's no point having open world and having no one in that open world. Luffy's a wanted pirate, so you gotta make that whole aspect of having people there interact interacting with people. I know that um when it came down to the story for Unlimited World Red, the cutscenes were more so like I, I, slideshows to us. Yeah, it was slide. Is there like slideshows? 
And I feel like World Seeker needs to do more than that. I feel like they need to have legitimate cutscenes, either in-game cutscenes or actually literally animated cutscenes. It depends on which route they want to go. I would like to see them go for the game style cutscenes. I would like to see that and I feel like that could work really well. Kind of how they've done in the Storm series. If they can do stuff like that with this game, then in terms of this game being visually pleasing, which is already looking, in terms of the game looking smooth, which is already doing that, it just needs to fill out the little tiny details in order to get us, ex in order to give, in order to give us a valid reason to be excited. The only reason that we really got to be excited is the fact that it's an open world One Piece game. I know a lot of people are going to be skeptical about how big the world is and how many islands we'll be able to travel, but I feel like that's going to be the least of our worries. We just gotta make sure that the gameplay is good, which is looking, the combat is looking great. I see some third person elements, third person elements in terms of the angles. I see some, um, I heard that they, they said in the interview that there's gonna be sandbox elements, which is gonna be cool. Obviously, we've seen stealth elements as well with Luffy climbing on the wall and all that stuff. We see Gum Gum UFO, we've seen a lot of techniques that Luffy has done in the anime and in the manga. Obviously, they might implement some anime-only techniques, so some manga people may be like, where did this move come from? But don't be surprised if they do stuff like that, because Luffy has a lot of techniques, and that is why I'm open to the fact of Luffy being the only playable character. In terms of me being excited, I don't really know. I want to be excited, but I also got to be wary, because Gunbarium have done games in the past that happen to be really, really, really repetitive. Compet repetitive stiff and they've had their issues here and there but like i said this is most this is gumbarian's biggest title when it comes to one piece the 20th anniversary game that is one piece world seeker that is their biggest title that they've done so far in terms of one piece and you could even go on as far as say period because there's not really any standout games that they've made other than the one piece series correct me if i'm wrong but as far as i know there's not really any standout games um, that they've made other than One Piece World Seeker and um, if you want to go further to how long this game is going to last um, which I got put out there uh, in terms of adding characters like Zoro, Sanji and other of the other straw hats that's going to kind of be an iffy thing because in an interview they did state that this game was built in terms of it suiting Luffy only so in terms of everything around him, in terms of the environment, in terms of moving around, in terms of how everything works, it was made in order to suit Luffy. And that's a massive statement to the game. That's a massive, massive statement. So if they're going to do any DLC related story, it's going to be related towards Luffy, not any of the Straw Hats, unless they try and tweak the game, unless they try and do some stuff. But since the game is World Seeker, and since Luffy and the world being centered around Luffy is the main fundamental of the game then it won't be One Piece World Seeker it will be a completely new game because if you take out the main core fundamental you take out the main thing that makes the game what the game is it's not that same game no more but as a whole guys I want to know what you guys think about this me personally whether I'm excited or not I'm I'm excited I ain't gonna lie like I try and contain it but I'm excited an open world One Piece game that is story mode driven that kind of reminds me a little bit of a downgrade of Spider-Man PS4 in terms of um, I don't want to compare too much in terms of what they're trying to do the style the whole swinging and all that stuff but One Piece I know a lot of people are trying to say Skyrim but One Piece but I kind of see it being more of a Spider-Man type of thing in terms of the way Luffy does his attacks in terms of the way he does his kicks in the game and in terms of the way the bosses are laid out and in terms of the stealth elements that they are, are trying to implement in this game especially with the climb on the walls and with the sandbox elements all that stuff it kind of reminds me of that a mixture between Arkham a bit now in, in between them two if, if we get something around that and it actually is smooth and fluid 60 FPS yo that's gonna be a good game I'm, I'm really gonna be looking forward to that game but as a whole guys I want to know what you guys think are you excited for One Piece World Seeker Leave your thoughts and opinions about that down in the comment section below because this has been the UK Trotter Brother Dr. Blade, the darkest man around and it's time for me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe. I know 
I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please like, really enjoy this video, and yeah, I'll catch you next one, guys, and guys, please, slap that like button, bruh, because it helps me out a lot, and it really gets me up there in the world, bruh, because we're in 2018, bruh, we're progressing, we're going forward, not backwards, we're going up, not down, and yeah, catch you next one, guys.